Good afternoon, Dave. Hey, um, Dave. Any any lineup changes today? Uh, yeah, Yamamoto won't play, and uh, Torres will come in for him, and Mike Smith will play goal. Okay, so Yamamoto, yeah, I'm assuming, uh, banged up a little bit. Yeah, a little uh, bit, can, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about um, the Neil Chase on McLeod line and, and what you've liked? And you've had now, I think, close to 10 games from Ryan McLeod. You probably have a better sense of what you've got as a young yeah. player. Solid, solid player, positionally very sound. Uh, Gaining more and more confidence every game with uh, with his puck play, and uh, transport the puck well with those two big guys on the wings. He uh, he does a lot of the transportation of it, and then uh, if they can get in the offensive zone, they can be dangerous around the front of the net, just like the goal that Neil scored the other night. So uh, they've been pretty solid, pretty solid so far. Hopefully, we'll continue to grow them here the next two games. Thanks. Terry Jones, Post Media. Uh, Dave, I don't know if you noticed it last night, but the uh, Boston Bruins uh, sat 15 regulars. Uh, and I'm kind of curious what your intention is, uh, particularly in terms of McDavid and Dreisaitl, but uh, other uh, veterans as well on that game on Saturday. I don't know how uh, they went about doing that. I know we couldn't do that. We have a salary cap issue and roster issue, so there's no... We couldn't do it even if we wanted to, so it's a, a mute question for me. Well, uh, have, have you made any decisions in terms of uh, Dreisaitl and, uh, and McDavid in particular? No, they both want to play the games. Reed Wilkins, 630 Chad. Thanks, Sean. Hi, Dave. David, Sean. basically in the second half of the season, your penalty kill is now up around 93%. And I'm not saying it was it was bad before that, but it was more kind of middle of the pack. What's transformed it to that extent? I think there's been a number of factors to it. We uh, early on in the year we struggled a little bit. We had some bad luck with some bounces. Um, then it's kind of like our goals against. When Schmidt came back, our goals against went down. Our penalty kill and started to improve. Um, I think Jim Playfair has done a great job with the structure of it. We've tried some different people on it, and uh, it's uh, you know we feel comfortable with it going into the playoffs. It's uh, it's been steadily getting better, and that's what we're looking for. And uh, the structure of it is pretty sound. I like the discipline we've had. We haven't taken a lot of penalties, so the ones we've had to kill are uh, there. The number of them is down per game, so all those factors add up to a better penalty kill. And I know it's been headed this way for a while, but it became officially official last night that it'll be Oilers Jets in the first round. Mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, you know, what you think now that you know that matchup, and I know it's it's different franchises, but it, there is some history going back between the, the fan bases that can remember the series of the past. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, they're, they're a different franchise, but it's, you know, you're looking, you're watching it as it comes along just to see who it's going to be. Now you have, you know your opponent. So we've got two more games here to kind of prepare and keep good habits in place. And then uh, we'll dig into into Winnipeg on uh, starting next week. But it's not as if we don't know them. We played them nine times this year. It's uh, You know them well. They know us well. So it's uh, it'll be a good series. Your Matheson, Post Media. Uh, Dave, uh, is... Tour is just a plug and play in terms of Yamamoto, or will he play in a different line? Uh, no, Tourist will play with uh, Dreisaitl and, and uh, Nugent Hopkins. And the situation with Haas and Nygaard, are they going to be able to play in the playoffs? Poss or possibly. They... The possibly uh, we'll get them one game. Nygaard uh, looked good out there today, so I think he's a possibility for uh, Saturday, and we'll see where Haas is. Both of them have been skating. I think both of them would... would there's a possibility that they could play on Saturday. And do you have room to take bring some, some taxi squatters in for that Saturday game uh, with your cap situation? With it, your cap situation. With the cap, it'll be it'll be see where we are with injury situations. With bringing those two guys back, we have players okay. on emergency, so it uh, we'll have to. I talk to Bill Scott every day about what I can do and what I can't do, and that's uh, that's one of the factors. So you're not a mathematician? <laughs> There's, we've got 32 players right now. I, I need to be a mathematician. Okay, okay thank you. Yeah.